don't care what you think. And we're just not gonna talk about it. <laughs> we avoid a lot of arguments like that just by being like, yeah, sure you're right. <laughs> you know, you just don't go there. But you, you grow to that point after a couple of decades, you learn how to argue. But Barack and I, we're both lawyers. We're, we're both like this at home. We both like our opinion and so, we, we, when we were arguing when we were younger and we were figuring this out, we, are, we debated. In, in fact, I just, his proposal to me was a, it was like a continuation of one of our arguments, right? <laughs> he, he uh, I describe it in the book where, you know, when we were dating while we fell in love and he wanted to be committed, for some reason he was playing with the notion of whether he believed in marriage as an institution. And I was like, well, we don't do that in our family. We get married, dude. So we start having these intellectual conversations about whether you need marriage and da-da-da-da-da. He didn't believe it. He's just arguing. He just liked to get me wound up. So at the dinner that he had planned to propose to me, had talked to my family about it, had the ring, how did he start the conversation with that argument? <laughs> Like, I'm not sure if I believe in marriage. And I'm like, what? I put down my fork and I started. And he just sat there and I noticed he was being particularly quiet. And I was like, but I didn't stop. I kept going and threw, threw the appetizer and then the salad came and another thing. And then dinner came and he's like, hmm, hmm. And then dessert came and the tray opened up and it was a ring. And he got down on his knee in the restaurant and he proposed and then he said, that should shut you up. 